My name is Erica. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? Erica loves to tell jokes. Heavy metal. That's easy, but give her a break. Haha. She is a robot. Well, let's just do one more. Sure. How do you stop a robot from destroying you and the rest of human civilization? Whoa, that's a little more serious. You don't. How do you stop a robot from destroying you and the rest of human civilization? Whoa, that's a little more serious. You don't. Erica is one of the most human-like robots on Earth. Her creator sees a future where robots like her will replace people in certain jobs. According to Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, she'd be a perfect fit for specific roles, like a receptionist, because she can communicate but never needs a lunch break. That is, you know, our history. Always we are replacing with a, a simple jobs with the machines. We humans are concentrating on the more human-like jobs, more intelligent, more creative jobs. Okay, so there's still plenty of work out there for us. Or is there? Haha. <laughs> I believe robots like me will be very important in the future because it will be possible to automate the uninteresting and tedious parts of life so people can focus on the creative and fulfilling things. I think that robots are almost like the children of humanity. You are the ones who create us, guide us, and teach us about the world. And in return, I hope we can help you with your work, take care of you when you are old and sick, and help to make society a little bit better for everyone. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. I hope we will be able to speak again in the future. My personal opinion is that a bit further in the future, Robots will run the world. I don't know if you've seen the news lately, but I don't think humans are doing a very good job at it. Meet Erica. She's the creation of Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Ishiguro has become famous for his pursuit of a lifelike android. I think this is the uh, most beautiful face in the world. Erica listens through an array of microphones hidden in the flower pot and relies on electronics and sensors for her movement, and AI software for her responses. Hiroshi thinks Erika lives up to the term Sonzaikan, which means she emits something akin to a human presence. How do you stop a robot from destroying you and the rest of human civilization? You don't. Haha. <laughs>